See you, babe. I'm taking the SRT to work today. Bye. Love you. Bye. Hopefully she doesn't come outside. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Hey ya! Uh, Alright, go, 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 go. How do I open this thing? Here we go. And oh, no. come on. Close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's like no urgency with no. this. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, dude. Nicely done. Who put that there? What is it? It's a Trump sign. That was not in my yard. No, seriously. I, I like my trucks and I like the Second Amendment and stuff, but that was not in my yard this morning. When we walked, in. did you put that there? I did not put that there. I'm as surprised as you are because that was not there when I pulled up. Yes, I, I should ask my wife, but the objective is not to talk to my wife at this point right now because in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we stole her SRT. Well, we actually just took it took it to work, which is over to my shop, and we are going to be modifying it. This is basically phase one of a, a few part modification process to get her 2018 stock SRT to something that looks a little bit better. Anybody that's followed my YouTube channel for uh, even the slightest bit of time, you know that I. Can't can't really leave anything stock and well today kind of plays into that so what we have right in the back seat are some lowering springs we're going to install them then we're going to bring it back and we're going to see if she even notices if it's lowered or not i think it's actually going to be kind of challenging for her to notice it is a big mod because we're going to be bringing the back of this thing down so it's its level with the front to prepare for the sick wheel and tire setup that we have basically uh being made for this thing right now you think she's even going to notice i don't know We'll I, see I don't, how, I don't how attentive either. to detail she is. Yeah, I think she's gonna be like, wait, something's different about it, but I don't really know. I mean, that's just my guess. I, I have absolutely no idea. So we'll, we will, uh, <laughs> we'll see you guys over at the shop here shortly. All right, we gotta call my wife real quick and see if she put that Trump sign out front because I'm genuinely confused. Oh, I guess we need this on now. Hello? Whoa, hello. <laughs> hey. What? Uh, did you put the Trump sign in our front yard? No. Did you know that there's a Trump sign in our front yard? No. Well, there is. <laughs> probably put it there. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about one of the most diehard Republicans ever in our neighborhood. Go outside and look. Where is it? Just just literally open the garage. I don't want to. I'm watching Grey's Anatomy right now. I'll look in a minute. Priorities. <laughs> <laughs> just so funny. get up real quick and just go look because you're going right. to okay. crack up. You can see it from the front door. Okay, hold on. See it from the front? Oh my god. <laughs> I cracked the driveway. <laughs> That's awesome. I got to open up our camera and download the clip of him putting that in our front yard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Well, I love you. I figured that would make your day. Yeah, that makes me happy. All right. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. bye. Oz and I are on the bean bag. Bye. All right. Love you. Bye. So here we are in my frontward facing camera at my house vlogging. If you guys are curious about what that looks like. Now we need to find the trumpet trader. I feel like we're getting close. Oh, there he is. He even has a red minivan, dude. <laughs> Thud. Wow, I'm saving that clip. Oh, I can share it. I'm gonna send it to my wife. I'm still cracking up about that Trump sign. That kind of made my morning. But guys, I just want to let you all know that today's the last day for Dream Diesel giveaway number nine, which is that 2016 Denali and $10,000 cash that you might be taking home if you chose to get entered. Five times entries are still live, but they end tonight at 11.59.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, March 29th. So to my last minute individuals that wait to pull the trigger on a decision, AKA a formal definition of being indecisive, well, here's your opportunity to decide because you might be taking that thing home. So we're gonna swap these things around real quick. Ah, much better. So today we are gonna be installing some suspension modifications on our 2018 SRT Grand Cherokee Jeep. We've had this thing in the fleet for a little bit of time now, and I've been doing my research about what it is that we wanted to do to this thing. And well, they already look so good from the factory. It's just that they sit on a pretty aggressive rake. Here in the back, we've got, I'm gonna say rough estimate, about six inches, maybe eight inches of clearance between the top of the tire and the bottom of the fender. You guys can see up here, there's a significant difference to give it that really aggressive, sporty look. This is maybe four inches, maybe three at that. Today's objective is to get this to match that so we can prepare for the wheels and tires that we've got on order that should be arriving here within the next week or two that we'll also be having some fun with. We'll just leave it that way right now. So simple, so fresh, and so clean. So these are the front, and then these are the, these are the back. They're gonna be sitting like this that's how you ride. So the plan here, ladies and gentlemen, is we are only gonna be installing the rear spring. These things get us about 1.7 inches of drop in the rear. We actually won't be installing the front springs. Now this is a total kit. It's called the Pro Kit from iBot. And it is probably one of the more popular kits for these here SRT Grand Cherokees. 
the track hawks and everything like that. Now what's cool about these things is they actually have the magnetic ride control. It's adaptable, so you can put it in track mode, sport mode, snow mode, tow mode, normal mode, all these modes. So it has that dynamic adjustability in the ride. These are not going to affect that at all. Rather, aesthetically, we're just gonna drop that back in. Now, I don't wanna talk any further, guys. We've got some work to do, so let's get it started. had a doubt, felt like this is just a must, put me in perspective, I'm the deepest in the cut, everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now. Nah. We've got the stock spring out here to be removed, it wasn't that bad, you basically just had to disconnect everything from the back lower control arm, and everything came right out, it wasn't all that bad as you guys saw. So here's just a quick side by side comparison for those of you that were curious, stock spring, eyebrow, Ibrox spring. Man, it'd be nice if I could talk today. Ibox spring. Spinning. Yo, it's all right. Third time's a charm, boys. We got this. The Ibox spring. Whew, wow, man. You guys can't notice all that much of a difference if we stand these up side by side. You might notice that one is just a little bit shorter. Obviously, that's gonna help with getting our desired ride height in the rear. It's not all that complicated to put it all back together. We just have to throw the top hat back in the spring, throw everything back in, and then get it all ready to rock and roll to do the passenger side. So let's jump right back into this, boys. difference because of the fact that there are springs and I didn't read the instructions actually so uh, I'm gonna be honest with you guys I ended up putting one of the front springs in the rear and I had to take that entire side back apart but like I said honesty is the best policy we looked at their instructions lesson learned today check your instructions but we did switch them all around but generally with springs taking me back to my car days uh, they would usually require some amount of driving to like fully settle so we'll see if we notice a difference now maybe take it out and cruise around for a little while see if we can get it to its kind of like final state and then see what my wife says. As of right now, guys, it looks actually taller because the springs need to settle. So let's go for a drive. How to settle the spring. Did it work, dude? I think it did. Yeah, I actually think that kind of worked a little bit. What better way to get some springs to settle than to try <laughs> that thing scoots. Holy that crap. thing goes, dude. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, he was just rocking so hard. <laughs> Not expecting that. <laughs> All right. What do you say, Jake? Think it's lower? Oh, yeah, boys. That looks great. Yeah, so I was a little uncertain about it. We stopped to get coffee. So I was a little uncertain because I wanted to do just the rears and not the fronts. The fronts would have dropped the front down about 0.6 inches. And obviously, that would have been a little bit too low just for like my wife's everyday use car with like curbs and anything that she would have to pull over, driveway, etc. So I wanted to just get the rear to kind of mimic the front. And if anything, having just a little bit of extra height here in the back isn't bad. That way, if we load up with the dogs, family, cargo, whatever, and head out and hit the road on a road trip, that should probably sit pretty level with that, or at least in theory. So now we got to head back to the shop, throw the giveaway Denali back in the shop. Then we're going to head back, pick my wife up. We're going to see if she even notices any changes. All right, guys, we're pulling back into uh, my neighborhood here. No real plan. We're just going to go in and we're going to grab my wife. And we're going to bring her outside and we're just going to see if she notices any difference. If I was a gambling man, I put all my money on the fact that she's not going to notice. You? I also am going to put all of my money on the fact that she's not going to notice. Still there. Hey, babe. Hey, you know the messed up thing about doing the dishes is that I can't even drink the coffee. I have to do the dish. Makes a mess. And it got some water on my shirt. Oh. Hmm. What are hey. you doing? I want you to come check out the Jeep real quick. What did you do now? Oh, I don't God, know. I'm scared. I want to see if you can see what I did. If you sold another one of my cars. All right, still here. <laughs> We're off to a good start. Okay. So, uh... 
What do you think? <laughs> of what? <laughs> Notice anything? No. <laughs> What? Any changes to the Jeep? Like, I don't, did you change the oil? I don't know. It you didn't change the wheels. They still have the Gramp wheels. What? Nothing, nothing over here looks different at all? Um, nothing? No, it was already tinted. I did change something to it. Do you see anything at all? Were those red things there before? Yep, those are your brakes. Maybe you tinted the lights or something? What? What about around back? Oh my gosh, is this a prank? No. You don't think? Are you sure you noticed nothing from the side at all? <laughs> what? This is not funny. If you two are messing with me, I'm not in the mood. I'm serious. I changed something on the Jeep, but I need, I just need you to see it. Did you see it? Will you marry me? No, I'm just kidding. She's already born. <laughs> I'm going to take this thing off soon. <laughs> I feel like a disappointment that I don't know. <laughs> Does anything like look more aggressive on it? Do you feel like it's still like grandpa-ish and stop? We'll wait until this guy passes. I've been social distancing yeah. for 13 days. <laughs> Hello, other people. Aww. They just had a flat tire. I saw them changing it from my window. Oh, they really oh, get that stuff oh. quick. <sighs> no idea. I did change something to the outside. We we collectively, all kind of three of us. Would I ever even notice this? Probably never. I think it made a massive difference. Do you? It made a huge difference. It made a massive difference. All right, let's give her a hint. So from this back door back, is anything different? Something in this general area. No. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Stop it. What is it? This is not funny. I have chores to be doing. If you are pulling a prank on me. I genuinely can't believe it, that you don't even notice. But I, I think I think Maybe I, I got can. something new under here. Like a spring or something? A shock? Can you get a shock on it? You're doing a good job. You're I'm getting more. <laughs> You're getting warm. I like this game. Now, does it look different with a potential spring or shock change? Mm, no. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is so much pressure. You were so close. You were like hot, and then you just cooled it down. You Stop. just extinguished this is a lot the fire. Of should we tell her now? I think we should tell no, her. No, she pretty much guessed. Okay, what, what's your guess? Uh, it has to do with what you said. Go back, go back to your point. Yes. Spring? Yes. Uh, you tighten the spring. <laughs> You're not so wrong. So it's going to be faster? You loosen a spring. Yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be longer. I'm, I'm just going to tell you. <laughs> it's going to be longer. We added it longer? inches to it your actually car. It's like longer. those extendable tables. It's level. So it's lowered in the back so it matches the front. So it's a little bit more aggressive on the road because you talked about how this thing looked like kind of like a standard Grand Cherokee. She came from a really no awesome Jeep. To that anyone that has a Grand Cherokee, they are nice cars. Yes, very nice vehicles. But I, uh, wanted... I bought her a Jeep Wrangler. If you guys didn't see that video, I'm going to link it above. Oh, Check that out. I surprised her with it. It was awesome. And we found out that baby. we were pregnant. We've got a little Jack on the way, which we're stoked about. She's in her third trimester right now. Yep. And basically I wanted to get something that was a little bit more accommodating to like family needs. So we got rid of the Jeep Wrangler, which was badass. It was lifted, Terraflex lift, 35 inch tires, black wheels. So cool. She loved it. Stingray was great. Head turner. And ever since she got this, she's just like, she no has that knack me. for mods. It's not like you look at a Denali with stock wheels and you're like, whoa, that's cool. When you see it with wheels though, you're like, wow, that's awesome. So I decided to lower it down a little bit just so it looked different than kind of like all the other Grand Cherokees. And it still rides the same and all that. We didn't lower the front, we just lowered the back because the nice. front would have been too low and I didn't want that. I feel either. like a Looney Tune that I didn't notice. <laughs> we lowered it like two inches in the back. Oh, wow. That's, that's so it was actually lot. pretty considerable. Oh my gosh, my Jeep SRT is lower. <laughs> that's the reaction. <laughs> that's it, that was me. She's like, all right, am I done now? <laughs> I noticed right away. Way. It's like there are dishes that need cleaned. Yeah, yours that I can't even use. But my guess all along was that you wouldn't notice. And Jake and I aren't gambling men, but we would have bet that you didn't notice, so we would have won. I still really probably wouldn't notice. <laughs> I still don't see it. But it's it. awesome. Well, guys, it looks like I was right. Jake, you were right too. Good job, dude. This was not another prank in our relationship. No. Thank you, Jesus. Just, just a little surprise. Well, thank you. I might have some more surprises in store for you too at this thing. Oh, God bless. Well, you never disappoint, but don't sell my car again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the lower bill? Come on. Yeah. Do you Do feel you like see you see it now? Yeah, I think the back obviously was a little higher. It so was this high. looks nice. Yeah. It was too high. Yeah, I like it. A little more aggressive, as they'd say. A little more... Proud husband moment. SRT performance-like. <laughs> they see me rolling. They hate it. Rolling. They trying to catch me in my SRT. Trying to catch me in the... She's SRT. always got something. Okay. Anyhow. <laughs> She's like, here. I'm out. I'm out. Peace out. Thank you. So yeah, you're welcome.
I hope you like it. I think the most entertaining part of this video was basically just my wife not knowing that we modified our car. <laughs> guess we were spot on, dude. Yeah, nailed that prediction. I mean, I guess it is kind of like a subtle change. It's not like something else that we have in store for this thing later that she still doesn't know about that will be coming to YouTube soon. Guys, drop a comment below. What was your favorite thing that she said? I absolutely have to know. My wife is my favorite person in the entire world. And yeah, she always has something absolutely hilarious to say. And actually speaking of, she's coming back. She's talking about how funny you are. Every word you said. Yes, this is true. <laughs> Except for the stuff we edit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna Austin. find that too. Caleb! What? No. I know where you live. <laughs> oh my. She does, dude. It's a threat. Well, here, let's ask one more question, babe. What else What else do you want to do the SRT? I want to get new wheels. Those ones are ugly. You don't like them? No, they're, they're ugly. You just don't like having like a should... standard looking SRT. You like one that's different? I think we should black out the lights. That's actually a good idea. And the thing on the mirror. I also really want to get a roof rack because we love to ski. Ooh. What do you guys think? Actually, a roof rack on the SRT family mobile? And, I think that'd be pretty and dope. And plus my mountain bike. I like True. to ride my mountain bike. Cool. Well, we got some ideas, and I think that's where we're going to wrap this video up. And uh, mission successful. Mission. I surprised you with another mod. That I didn't even notice. That she had no clue. You could have gotten existed. away with it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that subscribe button, like this video, and comment about how awesome you think we are. Just kidding. <laughs> Don't spread hate, spread positivity. Yes, listen to her. And guys, if you haven't grabbed your entries for Dream Diesel giveaway number nine yet, what Denali, 10 grand on the line for only a few more hours if you're watching this video on Sunday, March 29th. My likely, like she said, do what you do best, tap that subscribe button. And we'll see y'all in the next upload. <laughs>